And welcome back to the Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM. Spring football all around the IE underway for a lot of high schools. Of course, the season coming up in August and then in the September for the college teams. And speaking of those college teams, we got the University of Redlands head football coach Mike Maynard here joining us on the show. And, and coach, it's, it's awfully quiet right now. It seems kind of weird around the U of R right now. Where, where's all your guys? Everyone's home right for the break. Well, they are. They're all home. We actually have a kind of an interesting schedule. Most of our uh, guys leave for the month of May and, and they'll go home. We, we don't do summer school at Redlands. So our graduation is at the end of April. So this is uh, very different that uh, uh, we come out to the field and not see anybody here today. So well, we're looking forward to having them back in August. But the fo football activities will really ramp up in, uh, in less than a month, beginning in June. A ton of big time programs, college football programs, are coming to the U of R to host some of their satellite camps. Can you talk about what those are, and what kind of the purpose they serve, I guess? Well, we're thrilled to have eight different Division I uh, schools, NCAA Division I schools, coming to Redlands in June. And uh, so we're, we're pleased to, to have those schools here. And we kind of partner with them as a coaching staff and we co-coach a camp. And it's only you know one practice, so it, it, we call it a camp. But uh, it's an opportunity for those young people, uh, number one, to get better at football, and number two, to have the chance of uh, getting the exposure from the Division I uh, schools and, and coaching staffs. Now, I came to one, I can't remember if it was last year or the year before, but. Mike Leach from Washington State. I mean, these are big time head football coaches from Division I Pac-12 schools. I think Fresno State's going to be here. Um, a lot of great programs. And for, if you're an Inland Empire high school football guy, you can't get better exposure than something like this. Is that safe to say? Well, it's really true. You're exactly right, Pep. And, and the, the reality is it's hard to get to Pullman, Washington. It's hard to get to the University of Washington. It's hard to go to the University of Colorado. Uh, and, and to try to do every one of those summer camps, uh, it's next to impossible. And so what we do is we try to bring the camp to the young people here in the Inland Empire. And so we're really excited. University of Arizona is an addition to us this year. Uh, you mentioned Fresno State. Uh, University of Washington uh, is here. This is, uh, they've, they've been doing this for us. I guess this will be their fourth year. Uh, University of Colorado. Uh, Northern Arizona will come with the University of, of Colorado. So they'll, we'll actually have three coaching staffs at that camp. And I believe and, you added Nebraska and too. And we added you? just yeah. recently Nebraska and we're excited about that. Um, so it's really, like I say, it's a time for uh, an opportunity for exposure. Yet at the same time, we want to make sure it's a teaching camp. And every young man should have the opportunity to get better at his skill, whether it's the offensive line or uh, quarterback and everything in between. We want to make certain that they're learning something about football, something they can apply and, and to you know, help them be better players this fall and at the same time get the exposure that they deserve. Coach, is there still time for, for guys to sign up and can they go to the U of R Athletics website to get more information? They certainly can and uh, we'd like for them to, they can go two ways. Uh, one of them is Inland Empire Elite. Uh, that would, would get them to the uh, registration form and then they can also go to goredlands.com and look for our Bulldog football camps and they can do that. The cost is 50 bucks, so you know, we have to be able to charge something. Uh, and uh, we give them a nice t-shirt and uh, as much water as they can drink <laughs> and a whole lot of football uh, right here on, on campus. And, and obviously without the expense of having to drive or fly to these other locations. Yeah, where in one summer can you get to Arizona and Washington <laughs> and Colorado and all Fresno and all these different places and have all the coaches, like you said, come to one place and get all that great exposure? One thing that it's really important, and I think this is a great compliment to the Inland Empire, to our coaches in the Inland Empire, our high school coaches, and most of all to the student athletes themselves. This is a compliment to all of them. What am I saying? These coaches think it's that important that they bring their coaching staff to the University of Redlands. They come to them. They're not doing this at all schools across the country. They're not doing this to all regions across the country. They're doing it at the Inland Empire. And so I'm so very proud of our, our high school coaches and our high school players because we have the kind of uh, football uh, reputation in the Inland Empire that people want to come and, and find out about.
maybe once in a while you get one of those campers to come here, right, and be a bulldog. Yeah, that's exactly the point. I think, <laughs> I, I think we're at somewhere between 11 and 12 of the young men that were at the camp last year are going to be dressed out in bulldog football uniform this fall. And so it does give us an opportunity to evaluate and for those young men to evaluate us as well. And coach, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about the upcoming season, defending conference champions. Uh, you got a lot, a lot of guys coming back and the new guys coming in. Are you excited about them as well? I couldn't be more excited. This is, we have had a great recruiting class. We're still finishing up the last few prospects. Uh, that's gone very, very well. Uh, we're excited about the guys that, uh, that are left Bulldog football. Our guys, uh, you know, we graduated 25 young men, but we still have a great group of guys coming in to replace that 25. So this is an exciting time for us and uh, hopefully an exciting time for the Inland Empire in terms of college football. This is the University of Redlands head football coach, Mike Maynard, here on the Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Thank you so much.